Hey, this is Mountain Ghost 556. Okay, what you see before you is the black and white fire starter kit by Mr. Outdoorsy. Uh, I watched Iridium uh, 242's channel, and I really like this. A, it's affordable. It's it's not bad at all. It comes with quite a bit of stuff. I was really impressed by it, so I went and ordered one for my girlfriend's. Well, my girlfriend ordered it for her son. He's a Cub Scout, and he's really into fire starting and stuff. And I thought this would be a good way to show him how to assemble fires and use different types of methods of uh, getting them going by using powder type stuff, jute twine, uh, small blocks, and things like that. So it's not just a big lighter or anything like that. I mean, it kind of leads him up to being a little bit more advanced in fire making. So that being said, let's get into this. Okay, first of all, you've got your fire fuzz. Right here. These are pretty much, I think the base of these have wax and they're kind of wax permeated and you pull them apart kind of like the petroleum jelly and cotton balls. I haven't tried these. I'm not going to demonstrate this because this isn't my kit, but I am going to show you what's in it because I think it's a really good kit for beginners and experienced individuals. Now, I'm not going to carry all of this in the field with me. I like to keep, I like to keep very minimalist even when it comes to my fire starting kits. So I don't have a fire starting kit any bigger than maybe a small camera case about that big. So just to let you know, I don't carry all this. I won't be carrying all this uh, stuff in the field with me when I get mine. I might take different components out. I might take these out, you know. Um, I can make them myself, but you know what? Sometimes you just don't have the time, and you just pull some of this stuff up there. Just like I have quick tinder, I'll throw some in there just because I don't feel like going through the hassle of making the stuff. Okay, so back to the subject at hand. Fire starter wood blend. This takes a spark really well and starts really well. And it has a fat wood sap in it, or sap in it, which has permeated the wood and keeps it burning kind of like a, a candle. And it's burning off the sap and the, the stuff while the wood's absorbing the heat before it combusts. So, and then you have jute twine. Now, this isn't any ordinary jute twine, this is actually wax covered jute twine. So you'd probably you'd take the end, fluff it up, cut a piece off, fluff it up, and it will burn longer because it has the wax on there, kind of like you would do with the fuzz fire. Okay. He also for the 1449 he throws in this stove, which I really like it. I'm a big fan of these little stoves. And yeah, me and the little guy used uh, an Esbit tablet in there. Now I'm going to show you um, the difference between the Esbit stove and this stove different color that's all and it doesn't say has been on it they're both the same stove I really like the fact that you get one of these so there's no difference to to these whatsoever other than that has the Esbit name on it and it's a little bit of a different color this one is made in Germany I don't know exactly where this is made at maybe China I'm not sure but you know it doesn't matter if they still work the same I haven't had any problems with it so you get this right here this amalgamation and this might be just left over ends and pieces of his work but it still start it still catches fire and I like it that he put it in a tin because what you can do with this tin is you can poke a hole in there and heat it and then you can make char cloth with this tin I like that tin that's a really good idea putting that in a tin sir so with this being said as you can see it comes in a fishing type organizer box sturdy good box to the point where it's so good it kind of needs to be open a little bit more you open it up you have your instruction manual in there, well thought out, professional, shows you how to use the stuff, what to use, how to use it. There you go. Good instruction manual. Okay, the meat of the box. I'm going to start out with the permanent match. You put lighter fluid in here, you undo this little thing. I'm not going to use it right now. And then you just strike a spark, and this part's saturated with lighter fluid, and it puts out a pretty big flame. Okay. Oh, regular household matches, which you can't go wrong with these. I mean, these are actually a staple. They're not waterproofed, but, you know, they're easily replaced if, if lost or damaged. Then you have... Firestarter wood blend. I'm pretty sure this is a blend of fat wood and other types of uh, woods and stuff. So there you go. You get a, these little fire blocks. 
Now, Iridium-242 actually do uses these, and they act no different. <laughs> they actually last a lot longer. They act, and then you can actually uh, put them out and use them again. They act no different than these Esbit uh, cubes. They do soot up the bottom of your uh, cup or bowl or whatever you're cooking on. A uh, big piece of tinder or kindling, take that back. Uh, you can... I, you can make smaller pieces. You can shave off this. This is permeated, I think, with a type of fat wood uh, sap. More fire fuzz, which I like fire. I like this fire fuzz. I've seen several videos on it. And then you get more kindling. So you don't necessarily have to carry all this with you. You can take maybe some of these chips out. You know, maybe some fire fuzz out. Definitely, you can take the matches out. You can take the permanent match out. You know, you can carry this individually. You can take some of this kindling with you. You know, you can take some of this... That. Now, I did get some bonuses, I think, because it was the holidays, and he was uh, in a gracious mood, and I appreciate that, sir. But for all this, minus, I think, the extra this and that, I'm not really sure... Minus maybe these two things. This is what you get for $14, and you get this container to carry it. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, I could just make it myself. Well, then I guess you could just make it yourself, and by all means, do it. But to have a ready-made kit to give away as a gift or to keep in a vehicle, I'm buying one of these myself. I really like it. I'll just toss it in my vehicle, and I have options. I'm not going to, like I said, my fire kit is is really small, and I got everything on there that I need. But would I take some of this stuff into the field with me? Oh, I definitely would. Definitely would. And, you know, you get the stove, which is worth it, the, per the permanent match. It's a good kit. I suggest if you've got family members in the outdoors or the young ones want to learn to start fire and stuff like that with adult supervision, um, this is a really good kit. I'm going to put some of the links in the two videos by Radium242. Grizzly Taco did a small review on this, and I'll put... Uh, Mr. Outdoorsy's link in there. But for those of you that say, you know, you'd pass on it, hey, that's great, you know, pass on it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But I recommend this as a person that's outdoors, does a lot of stuff, search and rescue, blah, blah, blah. I recommend this for anybody that's at least starting out. It, it gives you an idea of what types of materials can be used, how to use them, and not everything's, you know, garbage. You know, you got a lot of wood shavings. People don't think this stuff could be a lifesaver. Okay. This is Mountain Ghost 5x6, out.